installing Verticasa cable and terminating in the riser storage box and a basement box, MDWB. Welcome to the video tutorial on Prismian's Verticasa system. This video will detail how to install the Verticasa cable on a riser tray in an MDU. Excess fiber module length will be stored in the Verticasa storage box at the top of the riser. The Verticasa cable will be terminated into a medium distribution wall box in the basement. Installing Verticasa in the riser shaft. Feed the cable through the riser from either the basement or top level. According to some building configurations, an extra length of cable is required to be left at the top of the building so that it is possible to extract the length of fibers to connect the end users at the upper levels. Measure the required length and secure the cable to the riser tray. Once the cable has been installed, secure it to the cable tray using cable ties. For installations over 10 storeys or 30 metres, a gravity loop will need to be made in the cable to relieve the strain on the fibres. This can be done by looping the cable once, securing and continuing through the riser. Form a loop with the excess cable at the top of the riser and secure with cable ties. Form a similar loop at the bottom of the riser. Take care to bend the cable in its preferential axis and to comply with the minimum bend radius of the cable. The minimum bend is normally 10 times the cable diameter under no load, but refer to the data sheet for more specific information. Installing the Verticasa riser storage box. The Verticasa cable enters the storage box and is exposed through the central channel. The cable enters on either of the corresponding ports. By orientating the box, this enables the cable to enter on the left or right hand side. To install, place the box in its intended position and choose the side you want the cable to enter the box. Knock out the chosen port. Fit the nut inside the box and screw on the gland. Apply two cable ties inside the cable entry area. Place the storage box where it will be installed and mark the four screw positions. Mount the box by screwing into the four marked positions. Untie the cable loop. Bring the cable to the box and mark the sheath halfway up the box. Make a scallop in the sheath using the Verticasa scalloping tool. The scallop should be made over one of the ridges running along the cable to avoid cutting the strength members. Place the tool on the marked line and apply light pressure onto the cable to cut into the sheath. Pull the tool down the sheath and out. Using the scalloped sheath piece, pick out all the fibre modules. Once all the modules have been extracted, cut away the sheath at the scallop area. Tape the modules together, avoiding any excess force that could damage the fibres. Feed the taped modules into the storage box and pull all the way through. Feed the cable sheath into the cable gland assembly. Tighten the gland and secure with cable ties. Loop the modules around the central bend manager and behind the internal tabs. 
Remove the tape and tuck in module ends. Close the box by placing the lid on and tightening the screws. Installing the medium distribution wall box, MDWB. The main riser cable is run along the left hand side of the box and can be entered at the bottom or top ports. Other drop cable entries run along the base of the unit. To install, place the box in its intended position and choose the port you want the cable to enter the box. Knock out the chosen port. Fit the nut inside the box and screw the gland on. Apply two cable ties at the cable entry area. Place the wall box where it will be installed and mark the four screw positions. Mount the box by screwing it into the four marked positions. Untie the cable loop. Bring the cable to the box and mark where the sheath should be removed to. This is usually just above the cable ties. Make a scallop in the sheath over one of the ridges using the Verticasa scalloping tool. Apply light pressure onto the cable to cut into the sheath. Pull the tool down the sheath and out. Using the scalloped sheath piece, pick out all the fibre modules. Once all the modules have been extracted, cut away the sheath at the scalloped area. Tape the modules together, avoiding any excess force that could damage the fibres. Feed the taped modules into the wall box and pull all the way through. Feed the cable sheath into the cable gland assembly. Tighten the gland and secure with cable ties. Loop the appropriate length of modules into the central manifold for future splicing. Close the box by folding down the trays and screwing the lid on.